the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good morning, Raiders. We hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday so far. GT students, all forms and money are due by Thursday for the field trip. No exceptions. We would like to give a huge shout out to all of the 7th and 8th graders who participated in Miss Henderson's coloring page contest for her new book, Isaac's Ice Cream Tree. The top three winners from each grade are as follows. Third place, Zoe Brock. Second place, Sydney Fawcett. First place, Christian Henderson for seventh grade. And for eighth. eighth grade, for third place, Ty Arden. Second place, Kristen Curvia. And third place, first place, Caitlin <laughs> Gonzalez. Congratulations to our winners. Please stop by Mrs. Henderson's room by, your end, by the end of the day to claim your Brahms gift card. Fifth and sixth graders, you will have an opportunity to participate in the coloring contest as well once Miss Henderson presents to your grade. Just a few more days to turn in much needed items in support of NJHS's effort to help the Genesis Women's Shelter. Let's rally together, Raiders, to help others in need. Listen up, students and staff. Fifth grade science teachers are in need of clear, empty, two-liter soda bottles with lids. They are preparing for an ELU and in need of 15 bottles per class. Any donations are greatly appreciated by February 8th. FCA will be meeting this Friday morning at 7 a.m. in the gym. This is open to all 7th and 8th graders. Come and join your peers for fun and fellowship. The Scholastic Book Fair is taking place on February 11th through 15th. If you would like to see a trailer of the book, Craig and Fred, stay tuned for the announcements. Mr. Mitchell's joke of the day. What did you give what do you give a sick lemon? I don't, I don't know. know. What do you? Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Make, Make it a great, great day, day, Raiders. Hi, I'm Craig and this is Fred. And we have a book coming out. It's called Craig and Fred, uh, a US Marine, a stray dog and how they rescued each other. And Fred just wanted to say hi because he, he wants to get his credit as the co-author. He's he had a lot to do with it. I let him type on my computer and he got it kind of muddy, but it's fine. I met Fred in uh, Afghanistan, a place called Sangin District. That's in Helmand Province. Uh, it's in the southern part of Afghanistan. In, in 2010, I was a US Marine. Uh, we were sent there to help secure the area. The, um, the villagers needed some help with uh, a, a situation there. And, it was a pretty, a pretty violent place um, for a lot of reasons, and it wasn't the place that I thought I'd meet uh, my first dog, but, but here we are. That first day when I, I walked over to him, I, I saw him uh, kind of trot across the compound, and I just saw his tail bobbing, you know, and he looked, at first he looked like a big dog, because uh, he's got this big head and this big tail, and he's got this big chest, and his chest is puffed out, and I looked up over my computer, and He's got these legs, you know, and it's like he's two dogs long and one dog tall, you know, and he's just trotting across the compound. And I'm like, what is this guy? So I got a little piece of beef jerky and I started walking over to him. And, and uh, as I got close, he started to wag his tail. And like little dust is kicking up around his tail as he's wagging it, just kind of looking at me. And I, I was stopped me right in my tracks. It's like, what does this dog have to wag his tail at? Absolutely nothing. I, I mean, he has never been shown any love or any compassion by a person. He's covered in bugs, he's hot and hungry, you know, but he's wagging his tail at me, you know, and he doesn't know me at all, you know, and, and that moment, um, you know, really kind of describes and kind of summarizes Fred's philosophy and Fred's message to me and, and to, to everyone else is like, you know, no matter how, how miserable you might be or how hard things might be, it's, you can always wag your tail, you know, and you can always, you know, um, fly that flag of, of, of being stubbornly positive and, and I mean, and it can change world for the better I mean rescuing him ultimately wasn't wasn't that challenging it was just the right thing to do um, but you know the, the the things that he showed me and the lessons that he's taught me and how he's rescued me is uh, is still ongoing it's st I'm still learning from him every day um, and it's kind of an immeasurable impact on, on my life 